What's going on, RT28, back again with another video. Today we have a nine package mail day, plus we have a box of 1920 artifacts. I love artifacts, I've always did since I started collecting. The only thing I don't like is the bounty cards, the Orem cards. I don't like those, I don't consider those a hit. But I've pretty much busted almost every single year of artifacts, and we're gonna give 1920 a chance, and then we'll see what we get. But first we have the nine package mail day, um, it's awesome. I got a lot of really cool cards in here. I don't know what order I'm gonna break them out in. I don't know what's in each box or uh, each package. The only package I know what card is in is the last package I'm gonna open up, and that's because it's a pretty nice card, um, one that I spent quite a bit of money on. So excited to open up everything, and we'll see what we get inside. So let's get started, and then we'll break into 1920 artifacts and see what we get out of there. I've looked at it. I've watched a couple videos. I like the base cards. A lot of people don't this year. I kind of find them pretty neat, uh, neat looking, but we'll see what we get in our package. So the first mail day, or the first package, is a game-worn gear from Titanium out of 300 of Al McInnes and Kevin Shattenkirk from 1314 Titanium. So there is card number one. And like I said, I don't know what's in each package except for the last one. Um, the last one's a real nice card. Uh, everything else I have no clue, but I know there's a lot of other nice cards in here as well So here's one right now uh, the one of one Panini prime printing plate of Shattenkirk and it is I believe just a signature patches uh, One of one signature patches of Shattenkirk go this way the cyan plate. So there we go. There's that and awesome looking card Alrighty Next up, let's see Getting all the updates on my phone on the Penguins game. Finally, the 1920 season is upon us, and it's awesome. Um, pretty, pretty happy with it. Okay, this one's pretty cool. One I've been waiting to, to see pop up, and it finally did. Um, this is the Threads of the Time from last year's artifacts. It is the premium version, number 2 of 25. It's the Fight Strap, number 2 of 25. And let's see, 18, 19 artifacts. So there it is. Happy to get that one real thick card, almost like a patch. They always do that with fight straps. So two out of 25. All righty. Let's get on to the next one, and we'll just keep flying through. All right. I was waiting for that one to come in. I knew I got it quite a while ago. Okay, this one is one of the ones that I was waiting to show at the end, but might as well just show it now. Okay, if you can see, it is from 1819 Upper Deck Premier Hockey, Premier Mega Patches. And it is numbered 12 of 15. There's a case in front of it, so it doesn't really look that good. Let me take that out real quick and show you how cool the patch is. Um, there were a lot of these that popped up at the same time on eBay. And I like this one the most because it's almost the full letter R. And I thought that was really cool. Plus, it's 12 out of 15, which when Shattenkirk first went to the St. Louis Blues, that was his jersey number instead of 22. So I thought that was really cool, and I figured I'd pick that up as quick as I could. So 12 out of, 12 out of 15, 18, 19, Premier Mega Patches. Awesome. Really cool-looking card. Glad to pick that up. All righty. Let's see. we have in this one it's all packaged up throw the receipt away all right this one is oh i know what this one is this one's really cool uh, took me a while to get this one in but glad i did look at how thick that card is that's nuts 31 of 35 does it have it does not have a penny sleeve on it so that's kind of bull crap 31 of 35 no penny sleeve uh the night or the uh, net cord from the 2018 NHL Winter Classic. So that's really cool. Piece of the net from the Winter Classic out of 35, Kevin Shattenkirk. Um, not too happy that there is no um, penny sleeve on it, but it is what it is. Card seems to be in good shape. Not too worried about it. And as you can see, it's the die cut kind of see-through. So that's pretty cool. Like that a lot. One of Shattenkirk finally. Um, what was that? Certified. Panini Certified used to do that. Um... I forget what it was. It might have been for the Winter. I think it was for the Winter Classic also. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Um, but they used to. They were the first ones to start using the neck cords. 
and then SP Game Use took that over. Um, this year, last year, maybe a couple years ago, I'm not sure, but since Shattenkirk was in the Winter Classic, he had one. All right, here's another one from this year's Premier. Well, I guess last year's now, but 1819 Premier. Of course, it has the little uh, business card in front of it. But And I put these all in my own cases, just so you know, at the end. Um, I take these all out and put them in one touches and scan them, everything like that. But we have a Brady uh, Shea. I always mess up his name. I used to, thought it was, used to think it was Sky, but it's Shea, I'm pretty sure. I, I can't remember. I don't follow the Rangers too much. I'm from Pittsburgh. I love the Penguins. I love the um, Blues. And I don't really follow anybody else on the Rangers except for when Shattenkirk was there. Um, I just pretty much followed him. But now he's Tampa Bay Lightning. So out of 75, Shattenkirk, Lundquist, and Shea. And that's a pretty cool card. All three different colors, which I was looking for. Saw a couple with a bunch of white, maybe a blue and a white. No red, though. So I thought that was pretty cool. Picked that one up. Awesome. All right, we're already six minutes in this video. We'll open up these last three packages. The last one is worth the wait. And then we will pop or rip open a box of 1920 Artifacts Hockey. All right, we got something in some bubble wrap here. Don't want to break it in case it's not in a top loader. Open this up. Scissors keep falling. Let's see what we have in here. Not not really sure what this might be. This isn't a top loader at least. Oh, okay, cool. Out of 199, it is numbered 139 out of 199. Couldn't believe I didn't have this, but I checked my inventory on Sport Card Forum, and I didn't. Out of 199, Kevin Shattenkirk, Zenith Rookie Auto. So I have his complete rainbow, including a one of one of the Zenith Rookie Patch Autos, but I never had the actual Zenith, um, just regular Rookie Auto out of 199. So there that is. Awesome. Got that in, and let's see, I think I know what these last two are. It seems like every time I make a video, the next day I get three, four packages in the mail. But I think I got mostly everything except for a couple cards. This one's really cool. Um, this one is numbered 17, or sorry, it is from year 1718, Upper Deck Premier. Pretty limited card, um, took me a while to find this one. Four of six sleeve numbers. Of Shattenkirk and you can tell that that's the bottom half of the two and uh, I thought that was really cool and the one of the only ones I've seen I think I saw one other one um, I couldn't remember what it looked like but I think I saw one other one and I missed out on it and then this one popped up and I knew I had to have it so four of six 1718 premier mega patch sleeve numbers so I thought that was really cool grab that for the collection and finally before our artifacts box break um, this card I didn't think I would ever find. I really didn't. Um, it's a really cool card. It is a one of one. And it'll help me towards the rainbow. I think I need one more card. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yep. One more card for the rainbow. And we'll pull it out from the bottom. As you can see. 1718. Is it 1718? Yep, 1718, the cup, black foil, autograph, one of one, of Kevin Shattenkirk. So now all I need, I have the button, I have the patch, I have the gold auto, I have the base, I have everything for the set except for the tag out of three, the tag auto out of three, which I still need, but I have the hardest one to find now, the one of one, base, auto, black, from 1718 the cup and when i saw this pop up i got it that same night knew i couldn't lose out on it um because i knew i'd probably never see it again like most shattenkirk 101s especially when it comes to the cup um panini and stuff sometimes if there's a 101 that pops up and i miss out on it sometimes i'll see it again not all the time actually the major majority of the time i don't see it again but with the cup or with any upper deck shattenkirk 101s um once it's gone it's pretty much gone so Happy to have this in the collection. Didn't think I'd ever see it. Um, took over a year, well, almost a year. The cup will be released, what, this month? This month or next month? I think it's always released in October. So, yeah, this month and um, pretty much a full year for this to pop up from last year's the cup. But I am happy that it finally did. And now it is in my collection. And it will pretty much always be there. Don't see this card going anywhere. So, awesome autograph. 
and uh, maybe one day if I get that tag in, I'll show the rainbow off. But another one on one to add to the PC. I don't know how many I'm up to now, but happy to have it. And after this box break is open, I'll add those all to the inventory on SCF. But let's get into the box break. And you know what? I'll probably put this up for some mojo just to see if anything special happens. Hopefully it doesn't fall on me. Kind of adds a little bit of a glare. Maybe I'll toss it to the side here. That helps a little bit. One on one. We'll take that from the cup. But 1920 Artifacts Hockey Hobby Box Break. I've done quite a bit of artifacts this year. Um, I've done a lot of artifacts um, throughout my hobby collecting days. And we'll see what we get in this box. Uh, new release. Saw quite a bit of it opened. I liked most of the stuff that I saw pulled. Um, some boxes weren't very good. But that's the risk you take. Opening up boxes and we'll hopefully not have one of those and hopefully get some decent hits if not at least one decent hit so let's get right to it as always well not as always back in the day there was a lot more packs but now you only get eight packs per box four cards per pack which kind of sucks it's a quick break but it is what it is and to show you everything here there's the Orem cards. The only thing about the Orem cards that I like this year, they actually added autos, like there's Matthews, for example. So that's kind of cool. At least they did that, add something nice with those Orem cards. Other than that, though, I think that they're just not considered a hit. If they have an auto on them, yeah, that's a hit, obviously. But no auto, I don't think it's a hit. But the box number was 71. Give me some Malkin mojo. Have him on my fantasy team. He just got hurt tonight, so hopefully he's not out for the season. Let's see. That actually looks like our patch card or something like that. Um, and I always like to set patch cards to the side. So, of course, first first pack we rip open has the patch. And we'll set that to the side. All right, let's go with the second pack. Let's see what we get. Pretty cool. I got this for pretty cheap. Um, I don't know what that is either. I'm not sure not used to two thick cards right off the bat, so I'm just going to put those to the side. Those felt thick. You know what? I did see a video. I just remembered. I saw a video from, I think it was Ziri, Ziri Gaming. Um, those are actually decoys now, so those aren't patch cards. So let's start this over. I really botched this up. I forgot that decoy cards are actually, they look like patch cards now, so we have that was the third one I opened. No, that was the third one, second one. This was the first one. We're just going to go in order. Whatever we pull, we pull. I'm not going to put anything to the side. Um, we'll see what happens. I do remember Ziri Gaming showing that. Let's see. That looks like a card, and that's black, and that's a rookie. <laughs> so we'll actually set this one to the side because that's a black rookie. Um, who knows what that could be. It looks like a patch. It's probably a patch. So, yeah, the, the patch, it looks like, was in the first pack. Um, wow, okay, so good thing I set that one aside. Uh, but let's see, we got Mike Hoffman. That gets me um, a little shaky because blacks are always good. That normally means out of five in artifacts, and that's pretty cool. So Pierre-Luc Dubois, Mike Hoffman. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little shaky. I normally don't get shaken up with uh, with opening boxes, but that's a black rookie, so who knows what it could be. Um, Duncan Keith, and this hit is, oh, there we go, a PC hit, nice. There's the decoy, they just look just like patches now. Um, Mario Lemieux out of 599, so that's a nice PC hit, toss that in the PC pile. Cool, Mario Lemieux out of 599. Not gonna lie, I am um, a little bit nervous for that, that pack right, now, right there, can't even talk. Um, I don't know if you saw that on camera or not. Maybe that's that black mojo right there. Who knows? But that was pretty darn cool to see. All right. Let's go here. You know what? I kind of like the fact that they do these all-white decoys now. I mean, by the edges, because old decoys were brown. Now you don't know what the patch card is. Just like I thought that was the um, a patch card. And then I opened up the other one, the second pack. And I thought that was a patch too. But anyways, I'll stop rambling. I'm just excited. Uh, Kyle Ocposo. Kyle Parmi Palmieri. Evander Kane, and let's see here. Johnny Goudreau out of $6.99. So that's another um, base parallel. I think these just 
This is the most common parallel to 699. Artifacts always has so many parallels, but 699 seems to be the the highest numbered. But Johnny Goudreau can't go wrong with Johnny Hockey. So there we go. Out of 699. Ooh. Yeah. I'm a little uh, a little nervous right now. You don't know what that could be. Black could mean anything in artifacts. It could mean out of five. It could mean one of one. Who knows? But that's the fact that that said rookie just gets me a little, a little excited. So this looks like it might be our rookie redemption. John Gibson on the front. Jaden Schwartz. Bo Horvat. And let's see, where was I at? John Gibson. And our rookie redemption is from just a wild card. So I'll have to scratch that and see who that is, but no problem at all. I'll take it. Never know who the wild cards are. Could be somebody pretty decent. So there we go. Pretty cool right there. All right. Got a lot more left to open. And I'll tell you what, I, I have never been... It's been a while since I've been kind of shaky from opening up boxes, but who knows? A rookie black, you have no idea what that would be. I'm kind of kind of nervous. All right, let's see what we got here. And we haven't even seen any other hit yet. So we have Jesper Bratt, Bratt um, Artem Anisimov on the back, Blake Wheeler on the back. We have our decoy. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, out of 85, Franz Nielsen. Cool looking card. I like that. I like the base a lot this year. A lot of people don't. I think it's pretty cool looking. Numbered 74 out of 85. I think that might be like a ruby, maybe a pink almost. It looks pink to me. So who knows? But pretty cool. Like I said, Artifacts has all these, all these parallels. You have no idea. And let's go with the next pack. So three more, four more packs left. Well, three more to open. Four more uh, hits to reveal. And we'll see what we get. Alrighty, this looks like an Orem card, so that's cool. Yay. Tyson Yost, or Jost on the front. Still don't know how to say his name, but I like him as a player. Nick Letty, like him a lot. There's our base. And here's our Orem card. And let's see. Dylan Larkin. Okay, Dylan Larkin. And I believe these are numbered this year. Maybe not this one. I think the, um, the Legends or something like that, those are numbered. But the Dylan Larkin Artifacts Orem card. And you can scratch that off for the bounty cards, which I'll probably just end up selling this anyways. Not going to worry about the the bounty. But Dylan Larkin, pretty cool. Like I said, I don't really consider these hits, even though they look really cool. I just think that's kind of a cheap way to include a hit. But for this box, I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully, we'll see what that card actually is. But for now, um, we got three more cards to see. Let's open it up. Alrighty, let's see in this pack here, we got a gold card, it's a jersey card, looks like, so Vasilevsky on the front, Thomas Hurdle on the back, decoy, and what's the hit, the hit is, no way, cool, another PC hit, two PC hits in the same box, and look at that, numbered 1 of 165, 1 of 165, dual jersey of Jake Gensel. So another PC hit, don't have any Gensel cards yet, so that's cool. Um, pulled one for myself and got the Lemieux earlier in the box. So awesome, cool that it's also a um, gold and black jersey as well. And numbered one of 165 makes it even better. Awesome, like that card a lot. That's really cool. And the gold goes along with the pen's colors. All right, last pack that we have to bust open. And then we'll see what this rookie card is all about. These are some of these are really tricky to get open. I don't know what that's all about. There we go. Alrighty. Video's getting long, some of my videos get long, but hopefully it'll all be worth it. Alright, Milan Lucic on the front. Jeff Skinner on the back. Nikolai Ehlers. Decoy. And let's see. Oh, I saw the name. Milan Lucic. Matthew Barzell. 101 out of 299. So there we go. There are all our hits except for this over here, which we are about to see. I'm kind of shaking, getting a little bit nervous about it because I've only had one 
actual hit besides um, the Orem card and the Gensel, numbered one and one sixty five, and the Orem, and then we had the Barzell, the Lemieux, the Goudreau, the Wild card, which I forgot about. We got that hit as well, and the Franz Nielsen out of eighty five. So there's our recap, and let's get on to this card, which hopefully. We'll save the box. We got Tom Wilson on the front. William Carlson on the back. Tom Wilson is never a good name to start out with. Let's see. Jimmy VC. And let's see what this is. Could it be something big? Ooh, no way. No way. Two out of five. Patch tag of Teddy Bluger. Three PC hits in the same box. You know what's crazy about this, too? I was just looking up because I saw his patch tag auto one of one on uh, on eBay the, a couple days ago, and it was for like 700 bucks. I just looked it up on eBay tonight to see if it sold because if it was going for kind of cheap or maybe I'd toss in a low bid, I would go after it and try and get it. But this suffices. I will take this worth every penny of this box. I think Teddy Bluger is an awesome player. I think he's on the Penguins to stay. Wow, I have not pulled such a nice card in a long time. For me, this is huge. Um, two color patch, but you can see the jersey as well. Awesome looking tag, number two of five. When I saw that black, I knew he had something special. Jake Gensel out of 165. And let's get that Lemieux for the trifecta of PC hits in one box. And who knows, maybe that's a Penguin too. Um, Lemieux, out of five ninety nine, Gensel, one of one sixty five, and the Teddy Bluger patch and tag, two of five. I cannot begin to explain to you how ironic this is. Literally, right before I opened up this box, I was looking on eBay to see if the Teddy Bluger artifacts rookie patch tag auto one of one sold. It did sell, uh, but this <laughs> I don't need it anymore. I got this for the PC. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you, Kevin Shattenkirk, the cup black one of one for helping me out with a artifacts black rookie patch and tag out of five. Awesome. Can't believe it. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm going to try and post up more videos as soon as I can, but wow, what a hit. Can't believe that. <laughs> this is awesome. That made my day. So thanks for watching guys. Teddy Bluger. I think he's on the pens to stay and thank you for watching. Have a good one.